Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the issues in decision tree learning algorithm. So when we are learning decision tree algorithm, what are the issues that we are going to face? Simply we can say the limitations or the disadvantages also. Okay, done. And before starting the video, let me tell you something. If you have not watched my previous videos on decision tree, make sure you watch them first and then come here. And also if you're still having any doubts uh, related to your uh, exams, like, you know, related to machine learning, you can let me know that in the comment section. And if you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know your date of exam and also your college name in the comment section so that I can make it by your exam date and according to your syllabus. Okay, done. So now let's... Um, see what are the issues we have in decision tree learning first is overfitting of the data overfitting of the data means uh, to make it more simpler for you if you are depending too much on the training data obviously we are depending too much on the training data right based on the training data only we are calculating the information gain we are calculating the entropy we are calculating the you know the overall gain and based on that only we are constructing the decision tree so we are completely relying on the training examples right so if you are depending too much on training examples then what will happen is that does nothing but the situation overfitting will happen so what do you mean by overfitting overfitting means uh, to say it simply it will work good for training data okay but for testing data it will not work good okay so when you are training for when you are applying it for training data when you are checking it over training data it will work good but if, when coming to the case of testing data it will not work good okay and next the second, and the second issue is the incorporating continuous valued attributes as i said in the appropriate problems for decision trees there i said you need to take discrete values right so it cannot accommodate for continuous values so if it is in case of conti if you want to accommodate continuous values then what you have to do you need to first convert this continuous values into discrete values okay you need to first convert this continuous values into discrete values and then you need to apply this okay so that is again it becomes a lengthier process right so as it cannot incorporate for continuous valued attributes directly so it is again an issue right and yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you and how to overcome the problem of this overfitting the data you have two solutions for that one is reduced error pruning i'll write it here reduced error pruning p r u n i n g okay so this is one reduced error pruning is one technique and the second one is post rule pruning so you have two methods as of now um, i'm not going to explain that in this video just i'm going to give you the list if you're interested you can learn them reduced error pruning is one and number two is post rule pruning okay these two are the solutions for overfitting of the data done now incorporating done right so third determining the depth of tree for correct classification we need to do the classification correctly right so how much depth we need to go whether we, we will be getting the correct classification at level zero or at level one or at level two or at level three at what correct depth we are going to get the classification of data we are going to get the exact classification of data that you cannot de determine it uh, right at the beginning of the algorithm itself as you keep on constructing the tree you need to increase the levels okay done so one two three done now fourth one handling attributes with different costs so again cost is nothing but here you can say importance or you can say weightage so handling attributes which are having different costs or different you know um, importance is again a difficult thing right because if you give more priority to one of the attribute and that attribute is actually not so much influencing your data that attribute is not able to cover variety of examples then obviously if you are giving more importance to that and less importance to the one which covers more uh, examples then what happens obviously the hypothesis which you're getting going to get obviously the decision tree which you're going to get will also not support for so many examples right so that and fifth the last one is alternative measures for selecting attributes you don't have any alternative measures for selecting the attributes for example uh, you're calculating the uh, information gain right you're calculating the information gain you're calculating the entropy you're doing a lot of lot of lot of calculation you don't have any other alternative apart from doing calculations right so uh, again here also what you're doing you're giving more importance to the target attribute right you're considering the information gain of only target attribute right which means you're giving more importance to the target attribute it is again 
it will under again go under biasing so these are the issues we have with decision tree learning and in order to uh, you know minimize these issues in order to reduce these issues we will be definitely getting another algorithm in future in this subject only right in the coming for the chapters you will be coming across that algorithm okay so these are the issues you have in decision tree learning and with this, this video we are done with the all the concepts things related to decision tree so from the next video we are going to start off with a new topic again okay neural networks we are going to start next okay done so that's all for this video and thanks for watching the video till the end make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you have not yet done and also share it with your friends and also if you are able to exp um, sorry understand what i'm explaining clearly just let me know that in the comment section so that that will be a very 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 great and good encouragement for for me and uh, thanks for watching the video till the end so let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another talk